global star-studded event wrapping up in Boston tonight. The Earthshot Awards handed out at Fenway's MGM Music Hall. The royal couples celebrating individuals and organizations battling climate issues and working towards global sustainability. And it really was a star-studded event. Look at that. Soccer superstar David Beckham. Film and TV stars Catherine O'Hara and Rami Malek. Former Massachusetts Governor Mitt Romney was there as well. And the president was in Boston today. He greeted Prince William during his visit. The two shook hands outside the JFK Library. They then went inside to discuss more of the prince's climate change initiative. Now, WBC's Paul Eben was inside MGM Music Hall for the Earthshot Prize Award ceremony with the royal couple. She joins us live with royal expert right now, Shannon Felton Spence, to give us a feel of what happened inside. Paula, please do. Well, Chris, you're absolutely right. This was a world-class event, Shannon. Really, truly spectacular with the Prince and Princess of Wales, all of those stars from movies, pop music, and wonderful awards. But what hit you? Uh, you know, the last few days, uh, this seemed suddenly it, like uh, it was something on a much bigger scale once we were inside, the reaction people had to them. This has been a three-day visit around Boston. They visited Somerville and Chelsea. They've been really all over the place, and it really felt local. We were showing them our hometown. We walked into the Earthshot events, and it was just a massive global event. We had the who's who's of some of the biggest celebrity stars and the energy of the Bostonians, the crowd uh, in the awards. It really just put this on a global stage. Yeah, it showed when the prince calls, a lot of people say yes to the invitation. Absolutely. It really hit home for me, actually, how much bigger this is than celebrity, right? Because the convening power that the prince brings is so much larger than a politician, so much larger than a celebrity. And being able to bring celebrities and music stars and politicians into the same room to really tackle one of our generation's greatest challenges is a remarkable power that only the royalty have. Yeah, and it really did hit everyone, I think, for the first time. This it will be the future king and queen of England. And, you know, in terms of the royal family, what did this do for Prince William and Catherine? This was their first big overseas trip as Prince and Princess of Wales, which is a really big deal for them to come to America, for them to come to Boston. It really shows how strategically important America is to the UK. I would say out of all of the things that could have gone wrong and some sort of rocky start to the trip, this actually was an, a massive success for them. They really put their best foot forward. They showcased causes that are very close to their heart and that they're passionate about. And I think that they can go home happy. Yeah, there was a little scandal out of Buckingham Palace the day they arrived. Then the Harry and Meghan Netflix trailer dropped, so that could have derailed everything. You know what? They just sort of troopered on. I guess they're Boston strong like the rest of us, but <laughs> it was a true success, and I think that they're walking home with some real on-the-ground knowledge from Boston, uh, and they helped put Boston on the stage as well. Yeah, Mayor Michelle Wu was there on the stage. She won't be part of what people see on television, but what did this do for the city of Boston? Oh, my goodness. I mean, Mayor Wu could not ask for a bigger platform. She has been with the royal couple for all three days, showcasing her climate resiliency policies, her vision for the city. This is really a chance for her to step into a national and even a global spotlight. And they did her a real favor. I think she's very happy as well. We should say we saw Governor Charlie Baker there speaking with the governor-elect Maura Healy, John Kerry, the climate envoy uh, who had been recovering from COVID after a foreign trip two weeks ago, was there wearing a mask, uh, being very careful. And uh, the whole theme of the evening was tangible ideas that can really help repair the planet in this decade. How do you think the Prince did getting his whole theme across? Well, listen, I was sitting next to a man in the award ceremony and I said, oh, what do you do? And he said, I'm a venture capitalist. And wow, there are some real solutions here. I think that the Prince, this is more than just about the grant from the Earthshot Awards. This is about really publicizing some of these most innovative solutions, but also bringing them to people that can actually scale them and make a difference. And I think Boston was the perfect place to do that with our research universities and our innovation 
an ecosystem. So the prince really, I, I think he did some generational good here. Yeah. Do you think this whole trip to Boston will be viewed as a success and they can carry this into every Earthshot Awards, no matter what city they choose from here on out? Absolutely. I mean, I think that we set the standard. Mm -hmm. It'll be very interesting <laughs> to see what uh, Earthshot 2023 looks like. Hard to keep up. So there were spectacular performances in person, Chris, by Ellie Goulding, Chloe and Holly, Annie Lennox. Billie Irish was on video. That she had recorded her performance. It was spectacular nonetheless, and everybody can watch it. It'll be televised on Sunday around the globe, and Boston is heavily featured in the video presentations and all the discussions of the evening. So a pretty successful effort by the British royal family. Our royal contributor, Shannon Felton Spence, thank you so much for all your expertise over the last few days. It was so interesting. Thank you. It's been so fun. We appreciate it. And from the MGM Music Hall, Chris, we'll send it back to you. All a fascinating insight. Thank you.